Hi everyone. Now, some of you might have heard of the RAM compatibility issues with the Ryzen system. Well, as an early adopter, in fact, I'm the first person to build a Ryzen rig here in Malaysia and have been benchmarking and testing and I can tell you that this is true. Now, based on my experience, when I first got this rig here, which is like about two weeks ago, right after a Ryzen Tech Day, I did test it with my other RAMs, I have many DDR4 modules, and I had problems. So in the end, I just stick to the Corsair RAM model that they provided me, which is the Vengeance LPX DDR4 3000 megahertz model. Now, you see, uh, Ryzen being a new system, it will take quite a, a bit of time for the uh, this motherboard manufacturers to get the BIOS correct. In fact, this uh, my the board I'm using here is the MSI X three seventy X Power Gaming Titanium. Now, it's a very long title, but um, that aside, it's a premium board. But despite being a premium board, that it's cost almost RM two thousand. I can tell you that till date, I have been through three BIOS revisions. Now, from the first BIOS revision, do I remember? I had RAM compatibility issues. Now on the third one, my Corsair RAM works, my ADATA RAM works, my RAM from uh, Avexir here works, and the only one that isn't working is the one from HyperX, which is my HyperX Savage. Now, for those of you who are thinking to sell off your Intel rig and keep your RAM for the Ryzen rig, think again. Um, I recommend you to hold on with this jump don't jump immediately or at least uh, get the confirmation that your ram sticks will be supported on the in the board that you intend to purchase now i'm not saying that every one of you will have problem because the bios uh, will be updated by now then again come to think of it the bios that comes with the board may not be the latest now that is another issue so hold on to your whatever plans uh, try not to. I wouldn't recommend uh, jumping into the Ryzen bandwagon just yet. It's great if you buy, you have a uh, compatible RAM. That's good, but maybe you should wait a bit because even now, I other than this MSI board, I also have an ASUS board. I also have the Aorus board that just came in two days ago, and I have an Astrock board coming in uh, this week. The thing is, I'm not even rushing to review any of these boards because look, this one, I. I after benchmarking for about two or three days, I got a new BIOS revision. Um, after I published my review, that's another BIOS revision, and really, I do not know how many more BIOS revisions are coming. So, um, that's it for this video. I hope you um, gain some insights from my sharing over um, being the first adopter of the Ryzen system. In fact, tell you, I've been using the Ryzen system for gaming. I play uh, StarCraft 2 and Overwatch, and I have also been using uh, this exact rig here for my uh, latest video works including this one it's uh, been rendering all, all my recent videos so now back to what I mentioned earlier if you have intention to sell off your Intel system which is a DDR4 and you intend to keep the DDR4 for your Ryzen system do keep in mind that is a potential a possibility of RAM compatibility issues you have been warned I told you already as for what your, your intended step, do you want to continue with it or um, hold on for a bit? Well, it's entirely up to you. Just bear in mind that there is always a possibility of um, incompatibility where the system does not boot up because it does not recognize the RAM. That's the case with my HyperX Savage here. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Do leave any questions down below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And uh, if there's something I can't answer, of course, I will look for AMD to chip in. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.